Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! All right. Tomorrow's my last day of work for the year, and Cappy's gonna take a week or two off. You won't see him. Although I will be doing asshole consulting. I will catch up, because I can't let that go for two weeks, because if I did, there'd be, Lord knows how much work. So I will be doing that. That's the only way you'll be able to see Cappy. You won't be able to read any of his brilliant works at captivecapitalism.blogspot.com or any one of his brilliant books over at amazon.com. You'll just have asshole consulting. This one I'll have to read through multiple times. Hi, asshole. I'm currently a junior in college at a four-year public state school. I am and out of state. Guys, I am and out of state. And out of state? Student from Ohio, however, tuition is the same price out of state in North Carolina than in state is in Ohio. I'm currently getting my bachelor's degree in applied economics. I've read your book, Worthless, and I know your general feelings about an economics degree. However, I believe I may have salvaged my degree. I've taken SAS programming, Java programming. We'll be taking SAS 2 data analysis and with Python and econometrics. Okay, there you go. Also, since my degree is in applied economics, I require to take financial managerial accounting along with a semester of calculus, statistics, financial management, and business law. Those really won't help. Your programming will. So far, I have a cumulative GPA of 3.6, and will graduate between uh, $20,000 and $30,000 of debt. I want to get into big data. However, I have given some serious thought of either going back to Ohio or staying in East Carolina to obtain my master's in accountancy and getting my CPA or a master's in data science. Oh, God. Either or and or this third thing, or maybe a fourth. And they're good. It's not like, oh, I want to major in, in uh, creative writing. It's like, oh, that sucks. Don't do that, kid. My questions are as far, follows. First, would you recommend trying to find employment with my economics degree in the big data industry or go back to East Carolina or state school on how to obtain my master's in accounting or data science? All right. Um, yes. Yes, I would. And the reason why is you, you really did salvage that degree. Now, there's a difference between like a BA in economics which is complete bullshit. I, I, complete. I mean, no. Or your buddy Ocasio Cortez has a BA in economics. I mean, my God. I mean, and you know, if we just tax everybody. I can't even get my eyes as wide as her. I'd have to take drugs. Um, normally, yeah, then it would be complete. But you have applied economics, Bachelor of Science, so it's going to be more math based. And then you have, or will have, with all these uh, programming classes, uh, you will have the uh, programming ability to uh, easily apply into a big data field or uh, econometrics, modeling, financial modeling, become a quant. So at the end of your degree with all these said things, you, you could make a good go at a, at a career. And the reason why I'm saying you should apply for some jobs is because there's a good chance you get a job in that field and then um, later on maybe get your master's in data science. Uh, so you, you haven't wasted your time totally with this degree. Uh, and so I think you should give it a good go. I mean, you know, college is always there, okay? It's always there. You can always go back to college. And I'd say, forget Ohio or East Carolina, go online. Okay, you can find an accredited program in data science or accounting, master's degree, online, which would be a hell of a lot cheaper because the dirty, rotten truth about most college degrees is you don't need bricks and mortar school to learn that information. We got this thing called the internet now. It's been around for 20 odd years, 30 almost. And uh, we should have moved all education to that, but we got to stab you kids in the ass so that we can get your tuition because you need the college experience. Uh, so I would try to find employment. Now, the only thing I would add to that, though, is if you can pull it off between now and when you graduate, although you got pretty full, you're a junior, you got a pretty full uh, plate there, I would go and get the Microsoft uh, certification in uh, data analytics. Um, it's cheap, it's online, 
affordable. And what I think that would do is in addition to your actual programs, uh, languages that you'll have on your resume, if you have that certification, that will show, look, uh, you know, applied economics, that math, anyone who's savvy will pick that up. Uh, unfortunately, your HR dits is not going to pick that up. Uh, but some guy who actually did, man, oh, applied economics, yeah, he knows it. And then you got modeling, econometrics, all these languages, and then uh, your Microsoft certification in data science, that then would effectively, in my opinion, although my opinion is only worth whatever it's worth, uh, would effectively turn your uh, degree into a, a bachelor's degree in data science or an equivalent thereof. I would almost list that like right there, your know, first thing, Microsoft certified data science, and then your bachelor's degree. Um, and then that would do two things. One, I think it would qualify, certainly it would qualify you for a, uh, a job in data science, but then it'll allow you to test like, okay, if I'm not gonna get a job in data science or some kind of related field with the, these credentials and this background, then you aren't gonna find a job in data science anyway. Uh, so then that would eliminate the next step is, okay, what do I get my master's degree in? Do I go get a master's degree in data science? Well, I have all these certifications, credentials, of uh, some quasi-respectable degree and a certification. That wasn't enough? Well, then that nothing's going to ever be enough. I mean, you guys got to know when to throw on the towel. I remember, like, you should get your MBA. It's like, dude, fuck you. I've been in school for fucking 17 years. You baby boomer cocksucking motherfuckers think I'm going to go for another two and give you even more? No, if, if it's either. This is it. I'm done. I'm done. You should get more certified. No, 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 no. If you guys don't have jobs by now, you're never going to have jobs. It was a wise thing. I avoided. God, I wouldn't be where I am if I ended up getting my MBA. Uh, so that will then knock it out. Then you would know, okay, the big data sign or the data science route didn't pan out and now I go and get my my master's in accountancy which then would be a completely different career shift uh, second what other kind of job should I look into besides big data with my economics degree um, barista waiter if you have experiencing waiting tables you can maybe apply for bartender you could be a bus boy with your degree in economics what else can you do with a bachelor's degree in economics you can be a car washer, a dishwasher. You can wash anything. Dog walker. What else can you do in the eighth grade? Because that's what you can do with an economics. You can shovel people's driveways. You can babysit. You can be a nanny. What do girls do with a worthless of arts degrees? You can um, clean houses. Already oh, did dishwasher. What else? You can pick fruit or vegetables. Your choice. You can do a lot with an economics degree. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, no, on a more serious though, it's going to be hard <clears throat> because that's that's pretty much all it is. You either went the actuarial. Maybe that's something to think about. Actuarial science or statistics. You either go the programming, modeling, hardcore math route. Um, or you don't use economics at all because then you got to get then you got to get a master's degree in economics and then maybe you can teach and then you got to get it and then you need a doctorate and then the government will consider hiring you. No, don't don't even you're not even going to do economics. That's the sad thing. Economics, people with doctorates in economics don't do economics. Economics is philosophy, right? Uh, the practical economics is just programming and math and modeling. I came up with a model. Oh, we did. What was the one? Fisher Frontier. You see, if we mix the right amounts, we use calculus, we'll find the optimum. Oh, it doesn't work because we're looking historically, and the past is not the future. <laughs> oh, the index beat us again. Damn it! Curse that that average commonsensical stuff. Uh, you're not. I, I know, dude, because I loved economics. I still love economics. But if you love economics, you want to be an economist. Don't get a doctor in economics. Don't get a master's. Don't get a degree in economics. Just go to your library, read economics. It's not that hard. Um, what The only other thing you could do, because you have an applied degree, and there is a lot of math involved, and you're going to have that, is you become a quant, an econometrician, maybe an analyst, maybe. Um, but then you're stuck in finance. And, uh, you know, see, at least with data science, you can go work in other industries. But if you're an analyst and you got, you're going to be working on the finance side of things, oh, fuck, put a bullet in your head now. Uh, because you're, you're going to be, 
oh, here's the data. Ah, oh, you're not a team player. I like that data. You you just don't know what you're doing. It's like, no, I, I really do believe there's a housing bubble on the way. No, you don't know. You, you deal with, then you deal with MBAs. Uh, so with an economics degree, yeah, you either go to grad school or you go wash dishes or you go work in finance. Uh, so I would definitely be, you want to jump the ship to big data uh, or accounting if that doesn't work. Third, given my current situation, how bad do you think I fucked up? Not bad at all. Not not that bad at all. What do I do with my coffee? Here's my coffee. You didn't. You're fine, dude. You you um. You're only a junior. I mean, if you really want to change it, I would go into computer science. Okay, get your programming in. That's that's the, about the only way you could do a little bit better. It's gonna take you an extra year or so. But I think you're. I think you could quote salvage your degree by uh, getting all these programming languages under your belt and then certainly getting that Microsoft certification. That's gonna be a lot easier than going and getting a computer science degree. Um, unless you want to go computer science degree, of which there would be other benefits conferred upon it, like you could go work in many other industries. But you didn't fuck up that badly, not at all. Um, I would shop around, though. You make it seem like East Carolina and Ohio are the only schools available to you. One's going to be more expensive than the other. Uh, why don't you try shopping online for some accredited programs uh, that have master's degrees in the fields you want to get? But I would postpone your decision to go to MBA or master's school until you fully try with uh, with your applied economics degree with you know that certification with big data. And I think that would be that'd be good. But no, you're you're what's going to save you is your programming languages. That focus is going to, is what's going to save you. Maybe down the road you got to go to a programming bootcamp. Maybe you got to get certified and all that. That's what's going to save you. And then, and Emily, what what I think there's a 45 percent chance of it happening is you're going to be hired for your programming skills, and that economic shit is going to go away. Um, and then, and then, and now ironic since you might actually be working in an economics department because of your programming skills, and you'd be like, but I have this theory about economics about. You know, bubbles being formed it's from the Austrian school. They, they don't talk about the Austrian school here. Keynesianism or nothing, you bastard. Like, okay, I'm sorry for trying to in introduce independent thought. I'll go, yeah, we just put off more money. Ah, oh, we're fine. We're fine. Worked great before, huh? All right, that's it. Questions, answers, assholeconsulting.com. If you guys want to make sure you choose the right degree, get this book worthless. And I will teach you not to major in economics. You just couldn't hack it in economics. No, actually, I was a brilliant economist. <clears throat> I was an economist at one time. Very young, too, and I predicted everything that ever happened. I was an outstanding economist, but you're not paid to predict things. You're paid to take the numbers and mash them up, and you give it to your boss so that your boss is happy because you are to give the numbers your boss wants to see to him. So you take reality, and you basically lie, and then you give the numbers to your boss. And then your boss is like, oh, my God, it's what I wanted. It's what I wanted. And that's how the housing bubble crisis and then the dot-com bubble and the Asian currency crisis and all those other crises happened. Just a bunch of white pasty, uh, gray-haired baby boomer fucks with their MBAs going, gah, gah, gah. It's true. That's all they did in their offices. You didn't see it because you weren't behind the housing crash. All right, that's it. Enough goofing, uh, goofing around. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.